multiple addictions, spending millions on something totally illegal, a disease that almost ended his career. These are 20 things you didn't know about Lionel Messi. And for number 20, I bet you didn't know Messi is secretly addicted to junk food. At some point, he risked his career for a cookie sandwich. See, it all started in 2014, and Messi was at the top of his game at Barcelona, scoring hat-tricks, winning trophies, and racking in some sweet endorsement deals. But one day, something very strange happened. Lionel Messi vomited right on the pitch. Fans wrote it off, thinking it was one of those things. But it wasn't a one-time thing, and everyone was worried the Argentine striker was getting seriously sick. So Messi decides to come clean with the truth. He admits to binging on chocolates, Argentinian sandwich cookies, and soda before games. Messi's addiction was so bad that while Pep Guardiola was giving a dressing room speech, Messi interrupted him to ask for a soda and drank it in front of everyone. But Pep wasn't up to being disrespected by Messi, so instead of taking action against Messi, he literally removed every vending machine in the Barcelona dressing room to keep him from chugging soda before matches. It soon dawns on Messi that to continue playing at the highest level, he has to change his diet. So, he hires a food nutritionist, quits the junk, and starts eating strange new foods like organic fruits and vegetables. And voila, no more vomiting. But addiction issues weren't the only thing Messi suffered with. Growing up, Messi was a street kid whose love for football was more like an addiction. He would sometimes skip classes to catch up with his buddies playing football during school hours. He was far and away better than the other kids his age, and in no time, various teams came asking for his signature. But one day, Messi collapsed on the field and had to be rushed to the hospital. Doctors ran some tests, and it all made sense why his appearance hadn't changed a bit and was shorter than the other kids. Messi was suffering from a growth hormone deficiency that caused his body not to grow, but it wasn't an affordable treatment. Messi had a hard time coping, because no club wanted to sign a player whose career would be over even before it started. But soon enough, Barcelona realized he was an asset worth keeping and signed him to one of the most historic contract signings in sports history with a pen and a napkin. The contract saw Messi do his thing on the field, while Barcelona took care of his treatment. But Messi's iconic napkin contract didn't just handle the bills, it changed the lives of so many kids across the globe. You see, Messi's iconic deal saw an animated movie created about his entire life and his journey to stardom, which saw a lot of kids pursuing their dreams in football. But when Messi decided to pursue his own dreams, he copped something from a whole new universe that would set a world record. Leo designed his own NFT collection that represented his proudest achievements and biggest moments and named it the Messiverse. Once Messi announced his NFT launch date on Instagram, it racked up over 7 million likes. So once the NFTs officially dropped, Messi's collection became the most expensive sports NFTs in history. On launch day alone, the projects completely sold out, making $3.4 million. Damn, that's a whole lot of money! But NFTs aren't the only way Messi makes tons of money. His deal with PSG and endorsement deals with various brands makes him one of the highest earning athletes in history. Messi's deal with PSG will see him racking over $100 million a year, including $75 million in wages. Messi launched his own clothing line and opened the Messi store, his first retail outlet in 2019 in Barcelona. The Argentine also makes more than $30 million in endorsements, including lucrative deals with Gatorade, Pepsi, and a lifelong deal with Adidas, meaning he'd still be smiling to the bank even after retirement. But Messi doesn't smile all the time, because one time, his most prized possession almost got stolen by his rival, Ronaldo. See, Messi's car collection started up with Escalades, Range Rovers, Chargers, Maseratis, Ferraris, and Mercedes. But Messi bought something totally illegal, a $4 million Pagani Zonda that can literally go 230 miles per hour in a few seconds.
fans. But the price tag isn't even the crazy part. Because Lionel Messi copped something crazy that almost got stolen. You see, when Messi heard his dream ride was finally up for sale, he wasted no time hopping on a first-class flight heading to Paris for the car's auction. Apparently, Ronaldo got wind that Messi badly wanted the car and offered to buy it before Messi landed. But since everyone was aware that the former Barcelona star was on his way, they waited. And right when he showed up, he placed a bid that not even Ronaldo could beat. $36 million for a 1957 Ferrari Spider. But Messi took things to a whole new level and got something way crazier. A Gulfstream V that takes him anywhere at any time. The private plane features its very own kitchen where Messi can cook his Argentine cuisine, two bathrooms and enough seats for an entire team. But that's not all. The chairs are so stylish that they can be folded up and turned into eight beds for luxury travel. But Messi's $11 million purchase was about to end his life. It was April 2020, and Messi was 30,000 feet in the air on his way to Tenerife in the Canary Islands. All of a sudden, the entire plane started shaking violently, making Messi terrified. The incident was so dangerous that the plane had to make an emergency landing 43 minutes later at Zaventum Airport in Brussels. Man, that is scary but not as scary as having a target on your back. It all started when Messi signed a multi-million dollar deal with PSG, becoming the talk of the town. And because he showed up in Paris out of nowhere, Messi needed a place to stay for the night and had a room booked at La Royal Monceau. But little did he know that his $18,000 a night room wasn't the safest place. So when Messi was out of his hotel room, a masked gang pulled up and climbed through the side of the building from balcony to balcony till they located Messi's room. The gang carted away with his jewelry and cash and bolted. The suspects were never found. But then, Messi came up with an idea. Messi knew he now had to watch his steps. So Messi was scheduled for surgery on his left foot following an injury. And since it was successful, he invited Japanese jeweler Gina Tanaka to have his blessed left foot properly reproduced. Messi's left foot legit cost $5 million. That's insane. My foot isn't even worth a dollar. But my boy Messi prefers to look out for other people than himself, so Messi auctioned his golden foot to raise money for those affected by the tsunami in Japan back in 2011. Man, that guy's a lifesaver. But while Messi was saving lives, someone else saved his life. So Messi had lost a penalty against Iceland in the Russia 2018 World Cup and was losing his call. Fans were devastated and everyone was calling him out on social media until someone saved his life. Mi vieja te, te quiere más a vos que a mí, ya a esta altura. Yo uso cintita roja, para la mufa. Si vos querés, te la regalo, te la manda mi vieja. ¿Eh? Hay que guardarla, ¿eh? guárdela por ahí, ya que usted está medio mufado. Argentina was up against Nigeria the next day, and Messi scored the opening goal. Argentina claimed the day, thanks to this guy. Te, te di algo que me mandó mi vieja. No sé si lo guardaste o lo tiraste. Al mejor acá. Now that's a touchy one, but not as touchy as how he met his better half. Back in Argentina when he was still a little boy, Messi went to visit his buddy Lucas when this pretty lady walked up to him asking if he needed anything. Messi couldn't utter a word and would later discover she was a cousin to his buddy Lucas. Messi knew he had seen the woman of his dreams, so he wrote a letter to her and one sentence read, Antonella, one day we will get engaged. Movie producers should probably grab a copy of this letter because this is a love story worth making a movie about. But your favorite movie soon takes a turn when he heads to Spain to pursue his football career. All eyes were on Messi, but the young talent had his mind on something else. Or do I say someone else? Leo had just finished practice when his phone rang. It turned out Antonella's best friend had died in an accident and she was terribly devastated. So he hopped on the flight and flew back to comfort her. Messi knew that if anything happened to Antonella, his dream of engaging her would be in ruins. Thankfully, she was okay and Messi popped the question. 
The duo wedded at a lavish civil ceremony held at a luxury hotel in the heart of Rosario. The wedding was attended by a host of football stars, including Cesc Fabregas, Sergio Aguero, Carles Puyol, and Xavi Hernandez. So this pretty much explains why he makes posts about the most important girl in his life, Antonella. But little did he know that showing off Antonella could end his career. It all started when Messi started receiving sultry photos from Susie Cortez, winner of Brazil's supermodel contest Miss Bum Bum. Cortez was so completely obsessed with Leo that she tattooed his face on her waist, painting her body with his Barca jersey and took pictures of herself in a Barcelona jersey with Messi's name on it. She literally bombarded him with a series of sexy snaps on Instagram and tagged him all the way. Leo was so pissed that he immediately clicked the block button. When Susie discovered this, she went into a rage, accusing Antonella of being behind the whole thing. I'm a Barca fan, and it's not my fault that Messi has a jealous wife who blocks me. Antonella's name was soon in the mud, and this time, Messi's name too. But Messi denied the rumors that his wife was jealous, and said he prefers to live a private life. Messi tries to leave the crucial part of his life away from the media and prefers spending time with his wife and kids or having a drink with his buddies. But that private life only led to more controversies. Cause I bet you didn't know that whenever Messi takes photos with male fans, he's cool with them getting close and stuff. But when it's a female fan asking for a picture, Leo keeps his distance. He's either holding his hands in his pockets, on his back, or next to his body. Like the time he posed next to celebrities like Shakira or the beautiful Israeli model Yal Shelbia. He always held the same distant position. So it all began to make sense that Antonella was probably the reason Messi was so distant from his female fans. When it began to take a toll on Messi's family, he knew he had to come clean with the truth. And this time, he revealed he was only trying to keep his promise about being a better husband and father to his kids. Alright though, these are the top three. And from here on out, you don't know nothing about Messi. But first, I guarantee you didn't know that Messi had been added to the Spanish dictionary. When talking about Lionel Messi, words fall short of describing his level. A Spanish dictionary, Santillana, added a word called Inmesionante. The word literally means perfect way to play football, an unlimited capacity for self-improvement. Not just the history books and press, now the dictionary fell in love with Leo. Man, what a legend! But there's no way you knew that this legend had the worst start to his international career. Messi is one of the fairest players in football, cause throughout his career, he has received only three red cards. But Messi got his first red card in his very first international game. It was back in 2005, when Argentina gave the prodigy a chance to prove himself in a friendly match against Hungary. But Messi only lasted 43 seconds in his first match and landed his first card. He was devastated, weeping in his dressing room with his hands all over his face. But Messi wiped his face, cleaned his tears, and vowed never to cry anymore. Now, Messi had made his lifetime responsibility to wipe other people's tears. Cause there's no way you knew that Messi had spent millions of dollars changing people's lives. Messi founded the Leo Messi Foundation in 2007, which helps underprivileged kids find better healthcare and education opportunities. He donated over $1 million during the pandemic to fight the spread of coronavirus. But he didn't stop there. The football legend raised $185,500 for the National Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Children, donated $218,000 to UNICEF projects in Kenya, and constantly funds junior football clubs back in his home country like Rosario Central, Sarmiento, Newell's River Plate, and Boca Juniors. Look at my boy Messi making people proud. But that's the least thing you know about this guy. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you like this video. 